every arrest or conviction leaves a permanent mark on a person's record. But for the 70 million Americans who have a criminal record, the effects can be devastating. In one recent survey, most employers said they probably or definitely wouldn't hire someone with a criminal record. Without a job, it's almost impossible to pay rent, assuming you can find a place to live at all. Many formerly incarcerated people report being denied housing because of their criminal record. And it doesn't stop there. A criminal record can keep you from voting, getting a driver's license, or a professional certification. With nowhere to live and no way to earn a living, a criminal record can turn into a lifetime sentence that traps people, particularly people of color, in a cycle of arrest, incarceration, and poverty. That's not fair, just, or smart. But cities and states are starting to interrupt this cycle. Many cities have stopped asking about criminal history on job applications, giving everyone an equal shot at employment. Mayors are launching offices to help residents overcome the barriers of a record, connecting them to jobs, housing, and other services. And most importantly, mayors are finding smart ways to keep people out of the justice system in the first place. Cities like New York and Philadelphia have decriminalized minor offenses, so disorderly conduct and littering will land you a ticket, not a permanent record. From Seattle to DC, cities are swapping the war on drugs for fair laws and fair enforcement so that the punishment fits the crime. These fair, just, and smart approaches can ensure that a criminal record doesn't turn into a life sentence.